hi guys and welcome to Whole Lilies. I'm Elise and today I have a homemade moisturising foot butter that will knock your socks off. Literally. <laughs> this recipe uses rich and creamy shea butter along with some oils to nourish and moisturise your feet. But the secret weapon is magnesium. You're likely to already have magnesium in some form in your home already. So if you're interested in making an intense moisturizing and soothing foot butter, then let's get started. Here's how to make an all natural foot butter. As always, let's start by measuring out our ingredients. I'm using shea butter as a base, but feel free to use your preferred butter like cocoa or mango. Any moisturizing oil will do, but I'm going to use almond oil. I'll also be using emulsifying wax and magnesium flakes. You can also use magnesium oil if you have it, but stay tuned to see how you can make it at home. Magnesium flakes are a highly concentrated form of magnesium chloride. They're similar to Epsom salts and they dissolve easily in water. They're whitish, translucent colour and your body heat can actually melt the flakes. When diluted, they can absorb rapidly into your skin for a host of benefits. Magnesium is one of those minerals that actually absorbs faster through our skin than ingesting, making it a great choice to add to your skincare. It has a wide range of benefits as every cell in your body actually contains magnesium and needs it to function. But magnesium also has a few qualities that specifically benefit our feet, so I'll be focusing on those. Magnesium can fight against fungal infections, reduce odour and is a great exfoliator, reducing rough skin for smoother feet. On top of that, magnesium is amazing for relieving muscle tension, something that our feet experience a lot of. And this is why it's usually such a popular choice in bath and foot salts. Now if you don't have magnesium flakes, you can actually substitute this with Epsom salts. Both Epsom salts and magnesium flakes are magnesium compounds, just in different forms. The main difference is that magnesium flakes have a higher purity, they're more potent, and they can actually be absorbed faster into your skin. So of the two, I would recommend magnesium flakes, however Epsom salts will still give your skin that magnesium boost. Check out my tutorial on making herbal bath and foot salts for another way of incorporating magnesium into your skincare. To make magnesium oil, dissolve the flakes in equal parts magnesium to warm water. Confusingly, magnesium oil is just magnesium dissolved in water, there's no actual oil involved. You can easily substitute magnesium flakes with Epsom salts and follow the same steps. Once all the flakes are dissolved, set aside to cool. In a heatproof bowl, place your shea butter and emulsifying wax. We'll need to melt them down before we can add in our other ingredients. Use a gentle low heat until both your wax and butter are completely melted. You might need to stir a few times to get all the wax. In addition to providing fragrance, essential oils have amazing benefits for the overall health of your feet. Tea tree oil is great for preventing infections, treating bacterial and fungal skin conditions and promoting healing. Rosemary can increase circulation, reduce inflammation, and its incredible smell is great for easing stress. Eucalyptus is a powerful anti-inflammatory oil, which can relieve joint and muscle pain. It also works as a deodorant and can help to treat various skin conditions. Frankincense has a number of benefits for the skin, including strengthening the skin and increasing elasticity to prevent against drying out, antiseptic and antimicrobial properties, as well as reducing stress. And finally, lemon oil is great for treating discoloration and strengthening your nails. It also promotes healing and has antifungal properties. Though often neglected, summertime is that one time when your feet are usually out on full display for the world to see. And unfortunately, feet are notoriously difficult to keep moisturised. Even if your regular moisturiser does a great job on the rest of your body, there's no guarantee that it's going to work effectively on your feet. Body butters are 100% oil and they're a great intensive moisturiser to use as they can help replenish those vital outer layers of your skin that can retain the moisture and keep your feet soft. Their high oil content is perfect for areas where you prefer a richer, thicker ammonia on your skin that won't absorb too easily and that way they can provide lasting moisture. Now of course I did formulate this foot butter with feet in mind but for an all round body butter that you can use on all areas then do check out my pumpkin spice body butter. Once your butter and wax is melted and cooled slightly, transfer to a larger bowl and add the almond oil and essential oil mixture. Mm -hmm. 
Vitamin E oil is great for improving your skin and will also help to prevent our oils from turning rancid. When everything is thoroughly combined, set the mixture aside in the fridge to firm up for at least one hour before we can move on to whipping it into a butter. When your foot butter is completely cooled, the surface should be solid and have turned from a yellowish colour to a pearl white. Use an electric whisk to whip up your butter into soft peaks. At this point we can add our magnesium mixture. You'll need to add a preservative due to the water in the magnesium oil, but because we added the emulsifying wax earlier, our foot butter will remain stable and won't separate over time. Whip your foot butter again with a whisk to make sure that your magnesium is spread evenly throughout. Severely dry and under moisturised feet, other than not looking too great, can actually result in more serious problems. Cracked heels, which can be a result of prolonged extreme dry feet, are more difficult to get rid of and they can lead to things like pain, blisters, infections and honestly just a whole bunch of other unpleasant things that you really don't want. So rather than walking down that long and treacherous path, it's better to get a handle on moisturising your feet now and learn how to effectively moisturise your feet to save you some pain and probably embarrassment. To store your foot butter, it's best to use a glass container with a wide opening. Either scoop or pipe your foot butter into the container. To apply, take a small amount and massage into your feet as often as necessary. This foot butter should last for at least 6 months. Even without the magnesium, this foot butter is a great moisturiser and the whipped texture stops it from feeling too heavy. So ditch the socks, get the sandals out and start enjoying summer in all of its glory. For even more skincare, click the playlist on screen and subscribe to my channel with the notifications bell for even more natural skincare and hair care DIYs. Thanks for watching! For even more foot care DIYs, check out my herbal bath and foot salts.